Hello, I hope this finds you well. And today on our midweek mindfulness, I'm talking about mental layering, something that I coined, something that I, I know I do a lot of. And what is mental layering? Well, it's stacking things up mentally in your mind that end up bogging you down and making you feel like you're completely full and you can't take any more. And it is usually really mundane and simple things that we have to do, little jobs, and we stack them up mentally in our heads instead of just writing them down or instead of procrastinating and just getting on with them. So as we come to midweek, and as we come to a time where we just try to set our attention to being more mindful, what I'd like us to do is think about how we stack those things up um, mentally in our minds. We, I do it a lot and, and, and I know that I will have an email to answer so, and then I've got somebody on a call and then, oh, I must um, do that little job and I was gonna pick up certain things and I was gonna go over there and do that. And, and, and they're all things that just are in my head. I don't write them down. I just know that, that it's jobs I've got to do but it's all just mental layering. It's all just another little thing to remember. And we emotionally find that exhausting and physically it, it, it comes out in a different way. What it does is it makes us look impatient and a little bit irritable because we're trying to, oh, we always feel really busy in the head. We, when someone comes over to you and asks you to do just the simplest of tasks, it just feels so mammoth because we're mental layering all the time. We're just not um, getting on and either doing the job or we're not putting those jobs to one side that we don't need to deal with and we're not being present enough. So, you know, when you have something to do, use your phone to put your um, details in, your notes. Use your, go to your notes and write down what you want to do for the rest of this week and or have a pad and a pen and write down what you feel you need to do by the end of this week so you don't have to keep trying to mentally layer up all the time and just you feel a little bit freer in your head so that when someone does ask you if you can help them out in some way you don't feel like it's just something else you've got to remember and you can respond rather than react to them because you're being more present because you're only dealing with the thing that's happening right now and not constantly having to recheck in your mind the three other things that you said that you were going to do today um, but you're constantly trying to remember what they are I do it all the time because I procrastinate about certain things, certain things that trigger me that I don't deal with. And so I let them run around in my head and I give them rent free space up here when really what I should do is just write them down on a piece of paper and it's done. And then I can go back to it during the week and go, I can take that off. And it's actually really satisfying having a little list of things and ticking them off and knowing you've only got two more of those things that you need to get done. Because it also gives you that freedom to be present with whatever you're doing and whoever you're doing it with, whether it be a colleague at work, whether it be your partner, your kids, whether it be a friend, you can just be in that moment because you're not mentally layering all the time. And you have that freedom that within the mind to take on new information and you're not trying to keep stacking up a mental layering. So mental layering is a thing. Um, we don't all do it, but I think a good proportion of us do. And maybe this midweek mindfulness is a time to, you know, use our journals, use our notes and in our phones and make good use of our present moment by not worrying about the other things we have to deal with. So have a great rest of the week. Take good care and I will see you next time on Midweek Mindfulness.